I V M. Now I know the fan garage seems like a place which my mother fears I'll spend the rest of my adult life in but fortunately for her it's actually a great podcast on sports something else she wishes I chose instead of being a nerd get your daily news on all the action going on in Indian football on iTunes Stitcher or even the IVM podcast app Welcome to a very special episode of the Geek Food Bulletin. I'm Jishnu and in this week we have Janam and Abbas. Hello. Hi. Hey guys. Hi. This is hey. new. <laughs> yeah. This is exciting. <laughs> yep. This is exactly like the other episode that we just recorded, <laughs> which you guys should check out about Black Mirror Bandersnatch in case you didn't see it on your feed. Yep. But hey, things are happening in the world and we're here to talk about them. Whether they're important or not is anybody else's guess. That being said, I think pretty exciting or interesting news at the very least. This is something. John Lasseter is a name that you may or may not be familiar with. He is yep. the man, the myth, and the legend behind Pixar animation. Yep. Uh, he essentially is uh, the biggest name in animation, I think, out there today, or at least has been for, and rather has been for several decades. Mm-hmm. What you might not have heard, though, is that about six months ago, in, um, oh, sorry, more than six months ago, November of 2017, that's... Ages ago. That's over a year ago. That's over a year ago. Jesus. He said, I think you still think we're in 2018. I'm still still in 18, man. I'm still in 18 or 17, wherever it is. Look, my point is, the man in November 2017 uh, cited unspecified missteps and apologized, and I quote, to anyone who has ever been on the receiving end of an unwanted hug or any other gesture they felt crossed the line in Mm. any way, shape or form. He is another victim yeah. Of, uh, right, well, victim, he's not, not victim. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I resent <laughs> that statement. Rather. I resent that statement. Yes, uh, he is another uh, man caught in this lovely male storm of. Uh, yeah, I mean, I remember when the whole uh, movement broke out. Mm-hmm. Um, his name was one of the ones where I was like, "Let this not be true. Let this not be true." But uh, I don't know. It, it didn't make as much. Um, uh, it didn't make the headlines. But yeah, yeah it, it it was uh, mentioned. Uh, in, in a few publications and then uh, then I just never heard anything about it so then yep. I thought I don't know what happened with it so that's but, apparently yeah. because he it seems from the horse's mouth from um, from both his company uh, Pixar and the company that he is now joining mm-hmm. which is Skydance Animation uh, mm-hmm. another, another name that you might have heard of they both have said that he actually dealt with it about as best as one can. Okay. And uh, that is the reason why he's sort of making a comeback in ways of right. been given a second chance. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. So just for t- take a second, Skydance Animation, in case you're not familiar with it, is a name that's made some noise um, for the last few years, but with a pretty, I'd say, random <laughs> track record of movies that they've been producing. Starting with True Grit, mm. or rather I'll choose to start with True Grit. That's long enough ago. That's about eight years ago. True Grit, Mission Impossible Gross Protocol, Jack Reacher, Star Trek Into Darkness and Beyond, World War Z, Terminator Genesis. So you see, we're getting this like action space, but right? To be fair, the CGI and uh, special effects were quite good for all these. They films. were, no, yeah. absolutely. Yeah, yeah, I mean, yeah. that's I'm saying this to uh, its credit. Yeah. But then you throw in a Baywatch, <laughs> <laughs> and all hell breaks loose. I don't know what, what the hell was going on with that. Uh, but they're also working on like the new Top Gun as well now. Okay. So they have some so exciting. That's stuff. quite a few Tom Cruise movies in it's there. It's a lot Mission of Tom Cruise movies. Yeah, Jack yeah, yeah. Reacher. It is. Mm. Um, Does this mean uh, what's the guy's name? John Lasseter. John Lasseter is a Scientologist now. Is, it could is that happen. <laughs> Any anything could happen. He'll see you. Um, <laughs> but the point I'm making is that he is now basically taking over as um, essentially second in command at Skydance okay. and reporting directly to the head honcho at Skydance. Isn't this a step down for him though? Like it is being, a step down. Being the be all and end all of Pixar, yes. the yes. granddaddy of yes. Pixar, Absolutely. to now. Being the second in command. Yeah. Completely. But the story here is the fact that he's at least getting that. Which mm. is quite a at least, if you know right. what I mean. Like right. It's Being second in command at that company is no it's no small matter either. Right. Mm. It's definitely no Pixar, but it is It is something. It is big, yeah. Um, but so, they themselves said, um, how do they put it? They said, John has been forthright in taking ownership of his behavior, apologized for his actions, and has spent the past year on sabbatical analyzing and, and improving his workplace behavior. Mm-hmm. And... Adding that all senior leadership all carefully evaluated the findings of this extensive investigation. And so basically, everybody is about as cool with it as you can be at this point, which 
is it's it's a weird place to be right now because it's one I'm excited that a man who I think is a bona fide genius is allowed to continue being a bona fide genius. Right. Um but then the other side is of a three-sided coin, let's say. The other <laughs> side of the coin is Okay, you're giving a guy a second chance. Does he deserve it? Should he be given a second chance? Do these guys ever get a second chance? Is should it even be on the table? But then three. Yeah, I guess at least some people get a second chance. That's good to know that there's hope. You know what I mean? It's uh, there's nothing about this that's easy. Yeah. But there are some um, shiny or silver linings unusual when it comes to this. In the fact that somebody who once you get familiar with his work and you realize just how big an impact he's had on all our lives whether you yeah, know it or not of course I think, I, mean, John Lasseter, I think after Walt Disney he's the closest we've come to Pretty what much. Walt Disney was yeah. so yeah I'd say so yeah. he's Pixar's Kevin Feige yeah. Yeah. so what exactly happened I didn't follow that's the thing the... they're being pretty hush hush about it intentionally to sort of like save <laughs> him a little bit in that he was so apparently upright and up forthcoming about everything and mm. he sort of he took all the blame upon himself. He didn't pass the buck. He was very mm. upfront, basically. And so, so they so, kind of took so that. The, did he apologize? Uh, yes, yeah, he, he did apologize. apologize. He, did apologize. he said, you know, this is yeah. all me, my bad. I'm going to take time off. And he took time mm. off for a year on his own accord. Nobody told him to leave or anything of that nature. So basically, the the long story short is that he messed up. He did something that's, I mean, it is mm. private business. It is mm. between him and whoever it is. His employees, I yes. guess, yeah. But he said... You know, himself retroactively, I done fucked up, mm. and to that end, I will step aside. And he stepped aside. Mm-hmm. And he said, "I will, you know, I'm not gonna be involved in anything." He basically did everything that would happen had he been caught out for it. Right. He just did it himself, which mm. is good, but right. it's wrong that he did it in the first place. So now it's like, all right, how much of a stick do you throw somebody? You know? Yeah, I think that's how much a, of a bone, I guess. Yeah. <laughs> it's a much larger conversation about it the is. magnitude of uh, what should be punished and who should be allowed to make a comeback. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I guess John Lasseter alone is not the uh, principal uh, person to be to focus on. It's that's still yeah. just something that's up in the air. I mean, we've, the conversation around Louis C.K. has been a mm-hmm. lot around this. So mm-hmm. yeah, it's just it's still up in the air because. All of this has happened so fast in the last year and a half or two years mm-hmm. that it's 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 all being clubbed together from people who should totally be banished forever to people who yeah. probably should be allowed to make a comeback because their offenses weren't as severe. So yeah, I don't know. It's up in the air. <laughs> like the movie <laughs> John Lester <laughs> helped <laughs> make well, Pixar. Well done. <laughs> Nine on ten. Oh man. <laughs> okay. But uh, speaking, you have of you have fun animation swinging things. in the air. Yes, yeah. I do. Also have uh, uh, an animation related news. Uh, so the Golden Globes happened last uh, week, mm-hmm. and something very uh, pleasant came out of it. The animate best animated feature film was won by Spider Man into the Spider Verse, yeah. and I was very happy about that because if you check out the other nominees in the mm-hmm. in the category, there was Incredibles two, Pixar, mm-hmm. Big Shot, mm-hmm. uh, probably the most Oscars one for animation Isle of Dogs Wes Anderson mm-hmm. again, another big shot mm-hmm. um, Ralph Breaks the Internet Disney again <laughs> and then there was this uh, uh, small Japanese animated film called Miral uh, which I don't know much about because I haven't sure. seen it but I was really rooting for Spider-Verse yeah. because as much as I love Pixar as much yeah. as I love The Incredibles yeah, yeah. giving this the animated uh, award to Pixar has now become just yeah. like giving the film fair to Shah Rukh Khan mm-hmm. like he's just <laughs> Sorry for that analogy. Yeah. But like some of their movies like Brave has won an Oscar for the right. best anime. I really don't think Brave no. deserved it, right? Yeah. So it just became was a... Brave the one with the curly hair? Yes. Yeah. I think it was because of the curly hair. Because <laughs> <laughs> I, I think animating that was not, not easy, easy. Right? Yeah. Oh, well, okay. Just um, for effort. <laughs> now I see the movie in a, in a brand new light. <laughs> but Into the Spider-Verse was just so new on so many levels, yeah. right? As a superhero film, yep. as, a, as animation, as a 3D film, as comic book adaptations mm-hmm. it was also new so I was really rooting for it I'm really happy they won it I hope they win the Academy Award as well man, and also I haven't watched no, it yet I really do oh man how are you producing this show <laughs> also uh, Lord and Miller finally getting their come up and after yeah. being, by being yeah, fired uh, from, from uh, Solo I, was, I, yeah. I really think Solo would have been a fun movie had they stuck yeah. been uh, oh you don't think it was fun at all 
It was fun, but not as much. It was sure. safe. It could have been fun. Yeah, it could have yeah, been fun. Yeah, yeah. it was safe by fun. the numbers. Yep. It was yep. didn't yep. offer anything new. Yep. 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 So yeah, and the fact that Solo didn't do that well at the box office, and Lord Miller actually get to uh, and just go destroy on to it destroy with, them with Spider Man. Yeah, yeah, I, yeah. I, I really think well deserved, and totally. there's something new being awarded, being yep. being appreciated because all the other uh, all the other winners at the Golden Globes were again very by the numbers. Bohemian Rhapsody, mm-hmm. Green Book, um, you know, by the numbers biopic, film yeah. about racism. Giving out awards yeah. to stuff that's always expected. So, Into yeah. the Spider Verse was a fresh change. Absolutely. So, I was really, really happy. I'm about glad it. we have an award given to somebody for thinking outside the box and also working their ass off. Yeah, not I only I, did you have a great idea, but you also you you killed it. Exactly. It's it's not enough to just think a fun thought and just like put together some sort of paper mache yeah. mangled version of like ah. Wouldn't really, I was going with something <laughs> like? Do you see like see my point? I was like I see your point, but like it's not. But you didn't do it. Yeah, <laughs> these guys did it. <laughs> these guys really did it. And I think just a tribute to Stanley and Jack Kirby once mm-hmm. again. The the their stories, yep. their artwork, still relevant, still making people, uh, giving people pleasure, making them believe in superheroes. Yeah. So, yeah. Go. Go Spider Man. <laughs> go 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 people. Can you got anything for us? This no. Week? No. That's, <laughs> all right. I'm, I'm actually just Thanks catching up on uh, old shows. I'm I'm watching Thirty Rock right now. Okay. I'm watching. Uh, do you st- do you find it funny? <laughs> oh what? no, I don't find myself laughing. Because I think Thirty Rock was a very much a product of its time. Even though mm. it's just about eight or nine years old, it, yeah. I don't think it's going to age that well. I think that's with everything. No, some Pretty like much. if you if you watch Breaking Bad twenty five years from now, it'll still hold up. Whereas. Comedy, especially stuff like mm. Seinfeld or mm-hmm. um, Three's Company or whatever, yeah, uh, yeah. just dates a lot, yeah. uh, a lot, and and especially Thirty Rock. I mean, I loved Thirty Rock when it was on air. Mm. It's just so zany and out of the box. The mm-hmm. only other show I could compare it to was The Simpsons. Like sure. anything can happen. Yeah, it's just the joke is the is the most important thing. Yeah, yeah so yeah. But that being said, I I'm, think I'm Family Guy also kind of did that. Like anything can happen. Then it's easy it's, to pull off an animation, know. but for a live action show to do that. That like, being said, I've just started watching Simpsons again after like probably ten years or so. Okay, I've w- been watching season whatever twenty two or something. Okay, uh, whatever the hell it's on. The, 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 what was it on? It's what? on twenty nine. Yeah, think. yeah, I'm watching like early twenties, <laughs> a random season. Okay. Like it's like a glove. It's like my old yeah, security blanket. Yeah, I was yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. I never got into that show. What? I, I, no. I kind of get that. I mean, it's yeah. either something you buy into or you don't. It's yeah, not going to be. Yeah, there's so much of it. It's yeah. a whole universe. Yes. Oh my god, dude! It's so as old oh as I god. am. Like the show is I mean, as old is. as I am. <laughs> <laughs> it's hurting my, hurting my heart. Oh my but god. yeah, I've never watched I mean, a Simpsons like episode Simpsons. and not laughed. Yeah. It's just, it's just fun. They've, they've, oh. they've updated. They've kept it. You know, still very much about yeah, today's yeah. times, but with that Simpsons spin man like I don't know how so wh- did it. you watch it when you were a kid of course okay so I never watched the Simpsons when I was a kid oh, because okay. obviously the animation style didn't please my eyes because like oh, really? why is everything so yellow <laughs> what is it I mean and the whole satire comedy uh-huh. was I was very young to grasp that All right. I got into the Simpsons like in my late teens okay. so and by this time it had already become the cliche had already become the Simpsons isn't as funny as it, as it is but oh. I still used to find it hilarious I'm wait like, a minute how old are you I'm 30 but yeah I'm 29 so it was the same age but yeah so, so I I didn't, didn't started watching around when I was 19 or 20 oh, which man, means I season watching, 19 20 oh jeez I was watching it when I was about 11 or 12 yeah so I want to go back to those first 10 seasons and watch them because apparently yeah. that was like the legendary run of the Simpsons oh man and yeah. I was like so back then I was like if you're saying this isn't funny then I, I can only imagine what it must have been like when, yeah. it, when you considered it funny Simpsons so, yeah. TV shows were one of the first few things that I totally legally downloaded and paid money for online. Really? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, man. Like it was, that was, I was all up in those uh, really crummy quality Simpsons torrents. Is it available on any platform right now? Um, no. The Simpsons movie is available on Hot, Hot Star, but the show isn't. It's not available anywhere? No. Nope. Really? It's mm-hmm. not syndicated? And like on... Oh, yeah, I mean, you can it w- w- watch on, it like, on Star World or Star, uh, some... It is on the... Uh, are you subscribing to television? <laughs> I, don't have, I don't have television connection Yeah so well, Then you can't find it anywhere uh, It's pretty retro tech It's hard to find But what would be expensive. your Top 5 Simpsons characters Oh my god <laughs> what is, How much time do we have Listen we're already at the fifth. This bulletin is yeah, wrapping How long are these bulletins I know like bulletins? 5 characters barely <laughs> Jesus uh, so just like, Apart from I, the family Sure if mean, I'm just yeah. pulling it Out of my ass right now I'm gonna say Ralph Okay Flanders um, Willie Uh 
maybe comic so uh, smithers right yeah smithers. i was just gonna go to yeah. i was thinking of smithers yeah and <laughs> fifth one who's a fun one maybe uh chief wiggum Sa- chief wiggum is great i was mm. but i was gonna say um freaking sideshow bob Ah, okay. Yeah, yeah that's, that's a good. Yeah, that's a good. Such a Bob just always has great plot lines. Yeah. <laughs> wow, I didn't even know Simpsons had so many characters. Oh, oh no, it has a plethora of characters. Oh my goodness! You think Infinity War was bad? <laughs> oh <my> shit! <laughs> no. I'm waiting for the Simpsons <coughs> parody of it. Yeah, like I'm. Wait- it's it's about why don't we why don't we have another Simpsons big screen I've, like big screen outing like it's about time it's been ages. It when was the last movie out? 2006 or 7 There's seven. only been one movie yeah. Yeah. It, was, it was like I right think. before I left for college I remember And it yeah. was just like a holy Like it was such yeah. a game changer yeah. It was like I remember the very first time um, That he That they referenced Like out, like that fourth wall break When it's like Why would I pay money for, yeah. for something I can just watch at home Like why would so I the, go so to the, the film theater? starts with like, them Watching a TV show Becoming a movie And the yeah. Homer saying Why would I pay money to watch a film oh. Was Which out. was something was, I can watch on TV And at like age 17 That fourth wall break From my favorite cartoon <laughs> Just like <laughs> Destroyed all perceptions Of so space and time So that's literally The first scene of the movie Yeah Yeah, yeah like, it op- yep. like the opening oh, theme man. song And then you just see Like the shadows In a very like MST3K kind of a fashion yeah. Like the shadows pop mm-hmm. up And just like Lame I'm going home <laughs> How would I pay for this Meh <laughs> And he just leaves And anyway. it cuts into Green Day playing the theme song Yeah <laughs> Man all the cameos That they yeah, have like, There's so much it's, it's still to me I think If you have a cameo On the Simpsons you yeah, are, That's you better than it. That's better yeah. than an Oscar Yeah it's yeah. better than an Oscar. It's yeah. better than a Walk of Fame star. It's better than anything. It's just like it is the best validation you can get as a human being. Yeah, have you? This is the last thing I promise. Then we'll wrap up. <laughs> have you seen this? So they I recently spoofed the Nick Jonas Priyanka Chopra wedding. Oh, did it? Yeah, they did. So they showed a montage of their multiple functions that happened. Oh god! So when she was in India, they show her as brown skinned. Then oh, when god. she goes over to the oh, US, god. she's yellow skinned. Oh, oh, no. <laughs> But let's be real. If they got, if they would, if they did it right, he would have been yellow, and then he would have turned brown. That's true. That, he married up. Let's yeah. be real, people. He married up. She yeah. didn't, you know. <laughs> anyway, some friends of mine actually played at that wedding. Oh, really? They played oh, in the cool. band. I really, nice. and like this weird photo of, of like some people I know in the wedding band oh. with PC and NJ doing that. It was weird. I have so many questions for them. Okay, that's our show. <laughs> thanks for listening to The Bulletin. This was a lot of not news, but some news also. I hope you learned some things. I did. Uh, thanks so much, Janam. Thanks so much, Abbas. Thank you. Thank you for um, having you us. You guys can fo- find us on our website at geekfood.in. You can find us on all our social media handles at geekfoodhq. Or you can write into us and keep the conversation going at contactgeekfood at gmail.com. Thank you so much and have a very pleasant day, you nerds. Family businesses get a bad rap. At one time, they were looked down on for getting rich, for being too ambitious. Today, they're still looked down on, but for not being ambitious enough. Not agile enough, not modern enough, too traditional in their mindset. The biggest brands and business houses in the country started out as humble family businesses. It's the way India has done business. Join Sonu Basin in conversation with stalwarts of Indian family businesses on the Inheritors podcast series by Bloomberg Quint. Discuss the highs and lows, the needs and pressure points of building a business legacy that spans generation. Sachin Tendulkar, Virat Kohli, Don Bradman, and now Cyrus Brocha. Okay, probably not in the right company. I mean, Don Bradman is Australian. But it's called Cyrus Says. A wonderful show about everything. Find the show on the IVM Podcast app, ivmpodcast.com, or wherever you listen to podcasts.